The United States flaunts the world its dominance through the presence of its military bases across the globe. These bases arguably serve as critical infrastructures to assist the United States and achieve its strategic interests through military operations. In an era of heightened conflict in the Middle East, the United States harbors their advanced defense equipment and sophisticated weapon system at Al Udeed Air Base in Qatar. Despite the commitment and statement made by the U.S. officials to pull out from the conflict in the Middle East, there has been a decision to expand the Al Udeed Air Base. Then the question arises, how exactly important is the Al Udeed Air Base? Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we are going to discuss why Al Udeed Air Base is so imperative to American presence in the Middle East. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. In 1991, following the success of Operation Desert Storm led by the United States to fight Iraq, U.S. established a notable cooperation with Qatar in the area of defense, leading to the construction of the Al Udeed Air Base at a price of more than $1 billion. Initially, the United States used the base discreetly, mainly to support its operation in Afghanistan. However, in March 2002, when Vice President Dick Cheney visited Qatar during a trip to the region, the United States finally exposed Al Udeed Air Base and officially acknowledged it as one of the U.S. military bases in the Middle East. Following this, Washington decided to move its Combat Air Operations Center CAOC, from Prince Sultan Air Base in Saudi Arabia to what was then a backup military base in Qatar shortly after the start of the U.S. invasion to Iraq. Since then, Al Udeed Air Base is home to the U.S. Air Force Central Command, Combined Air and Space Operations Center, and the 379th Air Expedition Wing. In addition, it also provides control and command of air power throughout Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, and other nations. Due to the large area, Al Udeed Air Base can even accommodate around 120 aircraft. This draped desert facility is the hub for more than 50 American KC-135 refueling planes, surveillance planes, B-1 bombers, C-17, and C-130 transport aircraft. In recent years, Al Udeed Air Base is critical to maintain U.S. missions in fighting the terrorists located in several Middle Eastern countries like Iraq, Yemen, and Syria. In 2016, the United States launched its first airstrike from Al Udeed using the B-52 Strato Fortresses to fight ISIS in Mosul, Iraq. This is the first combat deployment of the United States in the Middle East since the 1991 Gulf War. The strike targeted ISIS's weapons facility in Qayyara, south of Mosul. On the other hand, following the political chaos in Afghanistan, Al Udeed Air Base served as a significant ground for the U.S. troops to evacuate many Americans and allies from the Taliban-controlled cities in Afghanistan. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin promised that the U.S. military would rescue the people until the clock runs out. To conclude, the presence of the United States military forces in the Middle East still remains as a sensitive matter until today, and it seems contradictory to the commitment of the U.S. to pull out from the conflict in the Middle East. In spite of this concern, it is worth noting that Qatar is not only giving permission to the expansion of the Al Udeed Air Base, but also funding it and controlling the construction at a cost approximately as high as $1.8 billion. This phenomenon clearly exhibits Qatar's willingness to start rebuilding a friendly relation with the United States, especially in terms of defense cooperation. It also shows us that Qatar's tense relations with its neighbors force this country to look for another key ally in the region, and the United States is likely the best candidate for that. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And the most important one is to click on the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.